A bootstrap container is a responsive wrapper around our content. It helps us create a consistent layout and ensure that our content looks great on different screen sizes. This is what our homepage looks like with no container. To define a bootstrap container on our page, add one of Bootstrap's container classes to an HTML element, such as a div element. In this example, we add the container class and the result looks like this. Notice that the content is now centered on the page. Let's slide that over. If we want the page to fluidly fill the browser width, we use the container fluid class instead. The result is then like this. Notice that the content is spread to fill the container, but with nice margins. Before we jump into a demo, let's talk about one more thing, breakpoints. A CSS breakpoint is a point where the page layout changes based on the device or browser width. Breakpoints are a key part of a responsive design. Each breakpoint is defined at a specific size and named with an abbreviation. SM is for a small device or browser width less than or equal to 576 pixels. The MD, or medium size, is greater than or equal to 768 pixels. LG, or large, is greater than or equal to 992 pixels. And XL is greater than or equal to 1200 pixels. If we use the Bootstrap Container class, the display resizes at each of these breakpoints. That's a bit difficult to visualize with static pictures, so let's jump into a demo try out container classes, and examine the effect of the built-in Bootstrap breakpoints. Here is VS Code with the Pet Cafe folder open, looking at the index.html file. We have Live Server running, and the page is displayed in the browser. Notice that the page has no margin. In the index.html file, we don't need a container around our nav elements because the Bootstrap nav classes we'll add later provide container functionality. So scroll down. Let's add the container class around our main content. We'll add a div element inside our main element. Be sure to move the div closing tag just before the ending main element. I'll cut it from here and paste it here and reformat a bit. Then in the div tag, we'll add a style class of container. Class equals container. The main body of the page is now centered. Nice! The container class has a fixed size that adjusts at the breakpoints. As we discussed on the slides, these breakpoints are based on the standard size of devices, such as a desktop, tablet, and phone. I'll bring the browser to the front. Notice that as I resize the browser, the width of the content jumps to another size. Making it smaller, it jumps again. And again. And again. And again. Those jumps indicate where the breakpoints are. As we resize the browser, the content is not resized until the width reaches its next predefined breakpoint. Then it jumps to that new size. Let's see that one more time. To see the difference between container and container fluid in VS Code, let's change the container class to container fluid. Then bring up the browser. The content now spans the full width of the display. And as we resize, it fluidly adjusts the content to fit the width. Cool! For our index.html page, we want it to be centered. Going back to VS Code, let's change the container fluid back to container. But we do want our footer to be the full width of the page. Scroll down and add another div element after the footer. Be sure to move the ending div tag just before the ending footer tag. Then set the div element class attribute to container fluid. And to better see the resizing, Let's temporarily add some additional text to the footer. I'll paste some in. Going back to the browser, as we change the browser width, we see that the main content only resizes at the breakpoints, but the footer resizes fluidly. 
Nice. That's looking a little better already. Don't forget to remove our extra footer text, and then we'll go back to the slides. So, we often add a Bootstrap Container class around each of the main parts of our web pages. These classes provide responsiveness, resizing the elements within the container for the device and browser size. The Container class resizes at predefined breakpoints based on the width of common devices. The Container Fluid class fluidly resizes the elements within the container till the full width of that container with default margins. Use the Container Fluid class if you want smooth resizing as the browser is resized. Next up, let's check out some of Bootstrap's utility classes. If you are enjoying this course, please like and subscribe.